here again. How have you been? I hope you're enjoying your summer. And like I told you last time that you saw me, we're gonna talk about something new this time. And this one is just really special to me. We're gonna talk about God's creation. And the reason it's so important to me and so special to me is because it's because he made everything that we see, everything we hear, everything that's around us, he made us. And I just love everything that God made. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what days he worked and what he made on those days. And, and we're gonna talk about them a little bit, okay? You guys ready? Well, the Bible tells us that God made the world. Look here, I have a globe. This is the whole world, y'all. Look how big. Well, it's kind of small here, but I want to show you. Miss Rhonda wants to show you where we live in America. Okay, right over here is North America. And if we look really close, right there, that teeny tiny spot, that's West Virginia. Morgantown, West Virginia, that's where we're from, you know. So he made this big, big earth with all the things in it. He made the whole world. Let's find out more. On the first day, God made the night and the day. I want you to do something with me. Here, cover your eyes. Oh, it's dark. It's like nighttime. Now open your eyes. It's light, like daytime, right? So God, he made night and day. Can you do that? Night and day. It's so cool. I love that. Uh, you know, on the second day, God made the sky. Can you hold your hands out and wave in the air like the wind's blowing? Ooh, ooh. That wind, it's really blowing. Sometimes it makes a loud noise like that, right? So you make your arms go like the wind's blowing in the air. <laughs> Miss Rhonda likes to do that. That's fun. I like the wind. It blows our hair around. Oh, we love that. Okay, now on the third day, on the third day, God made the land and the plants and the trees that grow on the land. Look here. This green stuff, that's the land. And look, there's a palm tree. He made that. He made that on the third day. And all the plants, the flowers and stuff. That's day three for creation for God. He was a busy guy. My goodness. Look, Miss Rhonda painted something. Here's the sky. Isn't that pretty? Here's the land and the plants and trees that he made. God, he just made everything so beautiful. On the fourth day, oh, this is really great. On the fourth day, God made the sun and the moon. Can you see them up here in the sky? Here's the sun, and over here's the moon. Does the sun come up at night? Oh, no. The sun comes up in the day, and the moon comes out in the night. That's really great. Isn't it great? Isn't it great how God made things so we can see by the light of the moon at night, and we see by the light of the sun during the day? That's pretty cool. Now, he made some special lights in the skies, too. You know what they are? Stars. Can you open and close your fingers like this so they're like blinking, twinkling stars? Oh, that's good. You guys are really good star makers. Yeah, those are the pretty ones. Okay, on the fifth day, God, he made the birds, butterflies, and all the fish in the sea. <sighs> okay, there's the fish in the sea. See the dolphins up there? Oh, and there's an octopus. And here's the birds in the sky that he made. Wow, and here's the bees. Miss Rhonda has honey bees. Bees make good honey. Yeah, he, he just did all kinds of things. And on the sixth day, let me tell you, he made animals, like giraffes, and elephants, tigers, rawr. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? Can you make the sound that that favorite animal makes? Okay, Miss Rhonda's favorite animal, mm, it would have to be a dog. You know why? Because they're just so loyal and faithful. I have a dog, his name's Murdoch, and he goes woof, woof, woof. That's how a dog goes. <laughs> what 
what's your favorite animal? Make sure you tell Pastor Christy when you see her what your favorite animal is, and I want you to make the best animal sound that you can for her too, okay? So that way she knows for sure what you're talking about, okay? And then, guess what else? I really think it's probably the best creation that he did. God made people. Look, he made boys and girls. So that we can have friends. Isn't that great? They like to play together. They share their joys and their sorrows. He just, he gave us people so that we can share and experience life and all his creations. They're great. On the seventh day, God rested. Mm. He was tired from making all these wonderful, beautiful things. And so on the seventh day, he rested. And he tells us that we need to take a break too. So on Sundays, that's a Sabbath. We're supposed to honor God and rest from all of our hard work all week long. And we just sit around, talk to God all day, and just enjoy all the beauty and talking with our friends and playing and looking at all the animals. It's just great. So I'll tell you what I'd like for you to do. If your mom and dad had maybe some paper at home, you know, this, I'm going to pretend this is the ocean. It's blue. And then you know what? You can take some of your crayons and you can totally draw some fish and stuff. But look what Miss Rhonda has. Miss Rhonda has some stickers. Look, fish in the ocean. <laughs> Isn't that fun? And you know what else? I have green paper. And I'm going to pretend this is the land that God made, okay? And then we could put animals on around like this moose. Oh, he's big. They're in Alaska. Uh, they're big. He made butterflies, you know, flying around and, and eating all the pollen from the flowers and stuff. Look, look here. Oh, look. Butterflies and moose. What could be better? So I'm hoping that you guys can turn around and find some art supplies at home. And maybe you can do some of the uh, creations that God did. Uh, this time, let's do the ocean. Let's do the, the fish. What else did he make? Let me see here. It was on the sixth day that he made the birds, the butterflies, and all the fish in the sea. So if you guys could, let's focus on day six, okay? I love you guys. Now, Pastor Christie's going to play a song for you. It's a new song. You're going to love it. It's called Bigger Than Big. See you next time.